Finally, the ZenBook 14, one of the most popular laptops, has been updated with the processor we actually want, AMD's latest Ryzen 8840HS. This is the version of the ZenBook that a lot of people should probably buy. It is faster, it has a longer battery life, it has less fan noise and heat you feel, plus it's much cheaper. But it's not all sunshine and butterflies. There are some gotchas that you need to be aware of before buying. In fact, Asus's entire ZenBook lineup is a bit confusing. So today, I'm going to go all out and give you my ultimate guide on the ZenBook 14. I'll cover both this year's Intel and AMD configurations, and at the end, I'll tell you exactly which laptop you should buy. Now, if you don't know why the ZenBooks are so immensely popular, it's due to the insane value that they deliver. You see, these laptops can often be found for well under $1,000, but they compete with laptops that cost much more. Now, this year Asus has sunset the larger 14.5 inch ZenBook 14X. There is also no update planned for the Pro variant, which has powerful dedicated graphics, and the ZenBook Flip, the 2-in-1 convertible, appears to have been replaced by the dual screen duo. We'll review that laptop in a separate video. Instead, what we have this year are several different configurations of the ZenBook 14. The most expensive comes in at an MSRP of $1,300. It has an Intel Core Ultra 7 processor, 32GB of soldered memory, 1TB of storage, and comes with a high resolution, fast refresh rate OLED panel. Then there are a variety of cheaper Intel configurations, but they have lower resolution 1920 by 1200 displays that only refresh at 60Hz. Finally, you have this new AMD variant, which has an MSRP of $800. Unfortunately, it's only available with that lower resolution panel. But keep in mind, all these ZenBooks regularly go on big sales, so you should be paying $200 less than the prices I just told you. And our website is the place to find the best deals on all these laptops. So. In 2024, Asus has given you powerful new processors, but their cheaper models are now being downgraded with a lower resolution 60Hz display. However, before you freak out, there is a big advantage to this, which I'll cover in a minute. Let's start with CPU performance to see how much of an upgrade these new processors are. In Geekbench, which tests a variety of common performance tasks, you can see straight away that these new processors are massively faster than the older ZenBook 14 from last year. The new Intel Core Ultra variant now performs around the same in multi-core as the larger 14X with Intel's older 13th Gen H-series processor. The new Ryzen Zen 4 8840HS processor is a tad behind the Intel Core Ultra in multi-core, however, it is significantly faster in single-core. And both these new ZenBooks offer similar multi-core performance to Apple's new MacBook Air with M3, but Apple is still the king of single-core performance. Let's now take a look at how these laptops perform when their CPUs are maxed out with Cinebench 2024. Here, the new Ryzen Zen Book really shines. It wallops every other laptop in multi-core performance. Intel and Apple are just simply no match for this new AMD processor. You'd really need to buy a MacBook Pro 14 to get this level of performance, and that costs more than twice as much. Also, check this out. We ran Cinebench on a loop for 10 minutes for a torture test. The AMD variant did drop its performance a tad, likely to keep the CPU within target operating temperatures. But it pulled even further ahead than the MacBook Air, which doesn't have a fan to keep its processor cool. During this test, the AMD processor peaked at 95 Celsius, significantly less than the Intel variant. The AMD averaged 86 though, which is much cooler than more expensive laptops like the HP Spectre 14 and the ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Now, during our max performance test, the AMD laptop did feel very warm to the touch, more so than the Intel variant, but around the same as last year's ZenBook with AMD. Looking at the fan noise under max load, it's a good story. It is certainly loud in this test, but significantly quieter than last year's models. Now, for light use, which is probably what a lot of people are going to do on these laptops, it's a phenomenal story for this new AMD variant. It felt completely cool to the touch and was dead silent. Sure, if you hold the back of the laptop up to your ear, you can hear the fans going, but they just aren't audible when the laptop is on a desk. Honestly, this AMD ZenBook is one of the best laptops that I've used when it comes to heat and fan noise. On the other hand, the Intel Core Ultra variant stayed true to the Intel curse. Even in light use, it felt a little warm to the touch, and on occasion, I could hear the fans going. For gaming, the Intel variant takes the lead. It's a huge step forward from prior Intel CPUs. That being said, this new AMD model is also no slouch when it comes to integrated graphics performance. It is a big step forward from the prior model. But do not choose between these 2024 laptops based on their integrated graphics performance. Both of them can handle the same kind of tasks. 
For example, modern esports games that aren't graphically intensive or much older AAA titles. For anything else including video editing, you really need to step up to a laptop with dedicated graphics. Now, when it comes to hidden fan noise, during gaming the AMD laptop once again did very well. It felt significantly cooler to the touch than the Intel variant that is, but its fan noise was slightly louder. By the way, these were when gaming on the performance mode. I actually recommend gaming on their default balance mode. You don't lose that much performance and the fan noise will drop by around 5 decibels. Alright, AI performance. Right now, running AI tasks on a laptop itself is mostly marketing hype and to be honest, I'm getting pretty sick of covering it. If you do care about these processes, MPU performance though, it's on screen right now. Alright, so let's switch to something that is actually important, battery life. This year's ZenBook with AMD is much more power efficient than last year's. It's also better than Intel's Core Ultra. But you also need to consider the display's resolution when talking about battery life. The AMD model, as I said, has a lower resolution panel. The Intel model can be bought with either panel. And as you're about to see, lower resolution panels use a lot less power. When running this laptop's processor at max for 30 minutes, the AMD variant had 85% of battery remaining. This ties with last year's AMD ZenBook and is only a little behind Apple's latest MacBook Air with M3. But as you will recall, this new AMD laptop smashes both those other laptops in terms of performance. So big win for this new AMD ZenBook. As expected, you can clearly see the Intel variant with the lower resolution display uses less battery during this test than the one with the high resolution panel. Now, when doing something less intensive like watching a Netflix movie while on battery, the AMD ZenBook once again wins. Folks, this new AMD ZenBook 14 is one of the best laptops if you want long battery life. And once again, the lower resolution Intel variant beat the configuration with the high resolution panel. Let's now talk a bit more about the displays. As mentioned, this year's ZenBooks that cost around $1000 and less now have worse displays. The resolution has been downgraded to 1920 by 1200 from 2880 by 1800 and the refresh rate has dropped to only 60 Hz. So content on screen won't look as sharp and movement won't be as smooth. On a 14 inch panel, many people will find a resolution of 1920 by 1200 totally acceptable. However, I personally don't like it. In my case, I'm looking at lots of small text all day. For me, everything just looks a little fuzzy and to compensate for the lack of clarity, I find that I end up making everything look larger and therefore see less content on screen. If you have watched my recent video on Dell's XPS 14 and 16, I ripped into Dell for putting these kind of panels in their base configurations. I'm not going to go anywhere near as hard on Asus here. Dell's XPS laptops are priced much higher, much, much higher than these. And their screens are larger, 14.5 and 16.3 inches. This makes the issue worse, especially on the larger XPS. Other than that, the panels have similar brightness to last year, just under 400 nits, and they have the same excellent wide color gamut. On the colors though, even though both displays do seem to be using the same color profile, we definitely notice the high resolution panels skewing a little green and the lower resolution ones skewed a little red. This is a little odd and made the lower resolution panel actually look a little brighter, even though the measurements were similar. A couple more negatives on these displays though. Just like last year's models, all these panels continue to have the same screen door effect. When looking at white content, instead of seeing pure white, you'll see weird colors poking through. Plus, the displays all exhibit PWM flickering at all brightness levels. Both these issues are unfortunately very common with Windows laptops with OLED displays. When it comes to Wi-Fi, all this year's ZenBooks have Wi-Fi 6E. The AMD variant has a MediaTek card and the Intel variant has an Intel one. I didn't notice any Wi-Fi issues from either laptop during my use. Other than the changes in the processor and the display, this year's ZenBook 14 is actually a minor redesign. The lid is sturdier, the back panel is now flush with the laptop and the whole thing is more than 100 grams lighter. The speakers are also louder, the fingerprint reader has been replaced with Windows Hello facial recognition and on the Intel variant you get two USB-C ports that both support Thunderbolt 4. On the AMD variant, one of the two USB-C ports has been upgraded to USB 4.0 speeds. Also, on the AMD variant, a Windows Copilot key replaces the right control key. This year's model seems to vary as to which lid you get. Several variants have the etch line design on the lid, which I like, but our lower end Intel model has a more subtle plain lid. But the typing experience which was a plus of this laptop is now worse. This new keyboard feels noticeably low travel and the keyboard deck just has more flex to it. 
Also, the redesigned hinge isn't as sturdy, and they have removed the number pad in the trackpad, which I personally found to be a bit of a gimmick, but from reading reviews online, it appears some people liked it. All right, let's wrap. This year Asus has given you significantly better processors in the ZenBook 14s, but they also have made other parts of the laptop worse, like the keyboard. Plus, the best processor, the AMD one, is now only available with a lower resolution 60Hz display. It would have been nice to have the option of buying it with a higher resolution panel. If you do want that panel, unfortunately you're stuck buying the Intel variant, which also has a much higher price. That all being said, these laptops are just still excellent value in 2024. So, here's what I recommend. If you can handle the lower resolution 60Hz display, then the new AMD model is a no-brainer. Just go buy it, link is in the description. It has the most powerful processor, insanely good battery life, no hidden fan noise in regular use, and it's much cheaper. If you want the better display and can stretch your budget a little further, I'd skip over the upper end Intel ZenBook 14. Instead, I'd buy HP's redesigned Spectre 14. It is a much better laptop. Its build quality is a notch above the ZenBook, its keyboard is way more comfortable, it performs better, and it has two-in-one functionality. If you don't have that kind of money though, and are doing mostly light use, browsing the web, office applications, and that sort of thing, I'd seriously consider last year's ZenBook with the older AMD processor and the better display. It's totally powerful enough for you, and I don't see why you should pay more for the latest Intel variant. As mentioned, these ZenBooks regularly go on sale for around $200 to $300 off. Don't be the Muppet who buys one of these at full price. Instead, check out our website regularly for the best prices on all the laptops that we recommend. All right, that's all I have for you. What do you think of these new ZenBook 14s for 2024? Let me know with a comment. Make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed. It really does help this channel grow, which means that we can make more videos for you. Plus, it makes my dearest mother very proud. Till next time, go do something awesome with your day and I will catch you later.